So my name is Kenshi Arasaki. I'm one of the founders of a high-tech startup here in Vancouver called The Thinking Ape. And what we do is we build addictive social games for the iPhone and, in the future, Android. I was a University of Calgary graduate. I got hired right out of school to go to Amazon.com as a software engineer. And it was really interesting because I, the first day that I joined Amazon, there was like this little voice in the back of my head that was like, what are you doing here? Uh, you should be starting a company. And after about a year and a half of that, I, that little voice in the back of my head, it turned into like this raging scream. And so I had to get out. And so uh, you know, one of my coworkers, Wilkins Chung, uh, we quit Amazon in, at the end of 2007 and we went down to Silicon Valley, or the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, with seed funding from a firm called Y Combinator. And you know, we started our company uh, in January of 2008. I think the best advice that someone's ever given me was uh, to do what you love, right? But what does that mean? What does it mean to do what you love, right? And so the follow-up advice that they gave me was find something that you can do every day that lets you achieve flow. So my advice, or the advice that someone told me was that, you know, if you find something that lets you achieve that state of flow, that state of intense concentration every day, uh, you know, a productive life is a happy life. So there's no such thing as that, really. Like, if you're doing something that you, you truly love every day, how can you consider that work, right? You're not, you're not actually doing work. You're just, you're just doing life. Like, you're just living life. You're doing stuff. I, like, I don't come into the office every day, and I don't, like, I don't think that, I don't think of this as a nine-to-five job. I don't think of it as work. I don't think of it as drudgery. Well, actually, the wise words that I would offer are, uh, actually from one of our investors, Paul Graham, uh, the founder of Y Combinator, which is, uh, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you want to be relentlessly resourceful. Um, what I mean by that is, uh, you want to be relentless in the sense that, instead of being passive and letting the world have its way with you, you have your way with the world. But I also add resourceful because being relentless isn't enough. Just plowing your way through something isn't enough in a lot of cases to, to help you achieve success. You need to be resourceful in such a way that you can adapt to uh, ever-changing conditions so that you're flexible, so that, you know, that obstacle you're digging through, uh, you can figure out whether or not it's foam or granite underneath. 